In today's video, we're going to attempt to make a parkour system inspired by Mirror's Edge in the Unity engine. We'll be recreating the vaulting, climbing, and wall running. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing I want to do is import my modified version of Unity's Rigid Body FPS controller to the project. For those curious about the modifications, this controller has been modified to be simpler and uses trigger based ground detection instead of raycast. Now I have a working character controller and I set up a small scene for the player to traverse. I create a script called Player Controller. Not to be confused with the rigid body player controller and attach it to the game object. I set different drag values if the player is on the ground, in air, or wall running. Of course we haven't made the wall running yet and it will be used later. For the parkour detection, I use a custom detection script called detectobs.cs. This detects and returns the boolean obstruction true if an object with the script custom tag.cs has the correct tag and enters the trigger. To show you how it works, I attach the detection OBS script to a trigger. I put the object tag as wall, so it's only triggered by objects with a custom tag named wall. I then add the custom tag.cs script to this wall over here and put a wall tag. Now you can see when I make this trigger go towards the wall, the boolean obstruction returns true. And when it goes out, it returns false. So now I can detect if there is a vaultable object in front of the player by using two triggers parented to the player. The top trigger is to ensure there's no wall in front of the player and if there's enough space to vault. And the bottom trigger is to detect if there's a wall or a vaultable object there. The parkour code itself is very simple. If all the conditions for a vault is met, which is the bottom trigger returns obstruction true and the top trigger returns obstruction false, I set the player rigid body to kinematic and lerp the player from its current position to vault position, which I assign over here, and is also parented to the player. I also play a camera animation to make it look like a vault. Once the lerp is complete, I set the rigid body back to non-kinematic, and the player can now move again. This is how a vault will look like. With the new system in place, I can easily use the same method to add a climb. Now the player can both vault and climb, but we still, we're still missing wall running. I use the same trigger method to detect if there's a wall on my right or my left. Using this information, I set the respective wall run animations and modify the player's y velocity to simulate a wall run while keeping the x and z velocity. You can modify the values of wall run up force and wall run up force decrease rate. I thought this was a good balance and gives a nice curve when I'm wall running. You can also do a wall jump by pressing space while wall running by again modifying the player velocity. Now we have a working parkour system that you can easily expand on. You can download the Unity project in GitHub through the link in the description below and implement the parkour system in your own project. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoy my content, consider subscribing and liking the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.